dealt a final blow to the Building Bridges initiative that was meant to initiate constitutional amendments and silence the ragged tune for good, while delivering the supreme decision that spelled doom to a process that brought together President Uru Kenyatta and ODM leader Raila Odinga. The jury said the president cannot initiate a popular initiative and he was in contravention of the constitution. Mwangi Maina now reports on the issues that were upheld, quashed and the future of the BBI. The highest court on the land drove the final nail into the BBI's coffin, silencing the Eri BBI reggae, ostensibly for good. The seven judges pulled the plug on a process they faulted as unconstitutional, rendering it null and void. The appellants lost on two key grounds that they held close to their hearts, which they thought would be overturned and probably salvage the BBI that was allegedly meant to cure toxic politics, tribalism and winner-take-all after every general election. The bench upheld the ruling of the superior courts that the president cannot initiate constitutional amendments or changes through a popular initiative under Article 257 of the Constitution. The jury ruled President Uhuru Kenyatta contravened the Constitution. The second ground that threw BBI into oblivion is that the bench upheld the ruling that the BBI Amendment Bill of 2020 is unconstitutional for contravening Articles 10 subsection 2 and Article 89 of the Constitution. However, the appellants enjoyed a huge win after five decisions of the superior courts were quashed, rendering them nugatory. The Supreme Court ruled the basic structure doctrine does not apply to Kenya and hence any section of the constitution can be amended. Civil proceedings cannot be instituted in court against the person of the president during his tenure of office. The IEBC was also relieved by the Supreme Court ruling that the Commission was not obligated to ensure that the BBI promoters complied with the requirements of public participation. In addition, the IEBC got a relief after the jury ruled that it had the requisite composition and quorum to undertake the verification of signatures. It was also a win for the appellants after the court ruled it was not ripe for the superior courts to determine whether or not one or multiple questions were to be submitted during the referendum. Going forward, the BBI will indubitably be a political weapon, hurting one side of the campaigns while emboldening the other in the race to state house. With BBI opposers feeling vindicated, the BBI politics will form a huge chunk of campaign conversations. BBI proponents also have an opportunity to present some of the amendments in the BBI to parliament for consideration. Mwangi Maina, TV47, Nairobi.